Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. Today, I'm getting some hands-on time with Far Cry 5. Can't wait. Today's rundown is dedicated to our pal Blade Blur, who has been supporting EP for a very long time, and he's our latest sponsor. This rundown is all yours. Looks like we're going to be seeing a lot more mobile games from Nintendo. The gaming giant is looking to speed up the number of mobile games they release, and they want to partner with new studios to make it happen. A new report in the Wall Street Journal claims that Nintendo has begun meeting with mobile studios to bring more of their franchises to smartphones, and this is on top of the deal they already have with mobile giant DNA, which co-developed Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. The journal says that the reason Nintendo wants to speed up their mobile output is because executives are disappointed with the revenue they've made in the mobile space so far. Fire Emblem Heroes is a big hit, but Super Mario run fell short of expectations. We'll let you know when new Nintendo mobile games are announced. The good news is that they're doubling down on console gaming as well. The Nintendo Switch has had a phenomenal launch year and has already sold more than 10 million units. Netflix has officially renewed their Punisher solo series for a second season. The new season doesn't have a premiere window yet or a shooting start, but it will likely have to arrive in the next few years. Disney is working on their own proprietary streaming service, and when it goes online, they won't be working with rivals like Netflix anymore. That's too bad. The Punisher is the sixth collaboration between Marvel and Netflix, and the sixth to get renewed for a second season. So it's safe to say that their partnership has been very successful. Before the next season of The Punisher arrives, the new season of another collaboration, Jessica Jones, will debut in March. If you say with great power comes great responsibility, I swear I'll throw up on you. In related news, Netflix has just inked a deal with another studio, DreamWorks, to create no less than six new animated shows. They're all based on recent DreamWorks movies like Trolls and Boss Baby, but one in particular is a little surprising. The deal includes a new reboot of the 80s animated series She-Ra, which was part of the Masters of the Universe franchise. For the honor of Grayskull! She-Ra is basically a female version of He-Man with similar powers and strength. I am Adora. He-Man's twin sister. The new animated series will hit Netflix in 2018. GTA 5 and its multiplayer component, GTA Online, is apparently getting new content based around Rockstar's upcoming game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Data miners have dug through the code of the latest GTA Online update and found references to new weapons and in-game objects based on the Red Dead world, which will apparently be added to GTA Online closer to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. One of the new weapons is an Old West six-shooter revolver, which will apparently be unlocked after you get at least 50 headshots in the game. Rockstar hasn't officially announced any of this yet, but it seems like it would be a cool way to promote Red Dead Redemption 2 before its release. Rockstar's new game rides into town next year. If you missed one of the best movies in theaters this year, it's about to become interlinked with your home theater. Blade Runner 2049 is slated to hit digital video services on December 26, with the Blu-ray following a few weeks later on January 16th. It will be available in HD or 4K for those of you who want the most out of the film's breathtaking visuals, and there will also be loads of behind-the-scenes content exploring the production. We don't normally bother reporting Blu-ray release dates, but with Blade Runner 2049, it seems important. The film bombed at the box office despite being praised by critics, including yours truly, so fans are hoping that it will find new life on home video, similar to what happened with the original Blade Runner. Things were simpler then. If you haven't seen Blade Runner 2049, you should definitely check it out. We couldn't decide what Predator quotes to use in this next story, so we're just going to jump right in. The deadly Predator alien is coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. You're one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Ubisoft has announced a special event for the open-world action game called The Hunt, where players will be hunted by the Predator through the jungles of South America, just like the characters in the original film from 20th Century Fox, or Disney. You son of a bitch. I guess you have a new reason to get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! This is the first time a big crossover character like this has come to Wildlands, and given that Ubisoft has vowed to keep adding new content to the game, it might not be the last. I ain't got time to breathe. The Hunt kicks off tomorrow. Yeah. Stick around. The critically acclaimed adventure game Life is Strange is coming to smartphones. Developer Don't Nod has ported the game to iOS and Android devices with the controls and user interface redone for touchscreens. Most big console games don't usually translate well to mobile touchscreens, but Life is Strange, with its less complicated controls, will probably work a lot better. We'll get to find out when the iOS version arrives tomorrow. The Android version is set to follow in the coming months. Over on consoles, the new spin-off game, Life is Strange Before the Storm, launches its third episode next week, and Don't Nod is working on a proper sequel, Life is Strange 2, expected next year.
That wraps us up for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new episode for you. In the meantime, click around and watch some of the other content that we made. And if you dig it, hit that subscribe button, that little bell, and if you're so inclined, that sponsorship button. And I've got to give a special shout out to my pal Stone from Ubisoft who shot this today. Thank you so much, Stone. You rock.